Hi, I'm Lawson Tanner. I'm a senior high school student and I'm considering going to university in two years time. Now, for us queer students, this can be a daunting prospect. With over 10,000 students, Sydney Uni is Australia's largest tertiary institution. Today, I'm here to discover what organisations and services are available to offer support to queer students making the transition from high school to uni. The USU has a lot of roles in supporting queer students. There's a queer portfolio holding on the board. Um, the CNS, that's Clubs and Societies, provides a lot of funding to groups like Shades and Queer Review. Um, I am actually one of two queer co events coordinators. In part of that role, we won four major events in the year, as well as a program called Identity. As luck would have it, I've arrived at Sydney Uni during the Pride Festival. Pride is really important at university. Um, I think uh, what Pride exactly means is uh, different to a lot of people. Uh, some people do feel comfortable to express themselves however they, however they feel. Um, but for a lot of people, that's not the case. This year we've had opening events in our O Week. We've done something for Idaho, International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. We've had drag nights, afternoon teas that are especially for women and people who don't identify as cisgender males. And you're currently at Pride Festival, which we've coordinated with a lot of groups on campus. So that's like 20 events in three days. It's a bit of a free for all. And it's really exciting to see how dynamic the whole community is and to be part of fostering that. What does the Queer Review do? The Queer Review is basically uh, a drama society for queer students and queer friendly students. Um, we spend about 12 months uh, putting together a show uh, where students can write, uh, act, uh, sing, dance, do basically whatever they want uh, and then we perform it at the end of the year at the Seymour Centre. Luckily, in 2014, most Australian universities have queer support organisations based on campus and Sydney Uni is no exception. Amy, tell us more about the Queer Action Collective. The Queer Action Collective is about creating a safe space for queer students on campus. So part of that would be creating community around queerness, like including people into that space and making them feel welcome, um, letting them get to know other queer students. So to that end, we have a bunch of social um, things that we do through the collective. But we're also about skilling up collective members and um, enabling to the, them to know more about their own queerness and explore their own identities and know more about the queer community in general. So maybe people might come to university thinking that queer is about being a gay or a lesbian person, but we also run a whole series of workshops on other queer identities like asexuality or trans and gender diverse identities or um, bisexual and pansexual identities. So we want people to know about their community and learn how to support each other, even if it's not necessarily their own experience. Shades is a university society that throws parties and celebrates diversity, queer, straight or otherwise. Shades is mainly a social society for queer students on campus. Um, so we throw mainly parties as well as other social events on campus like barbecues, uh, picnics, speaker nights, trivia nights, just general social events for queer students. Um, however, everyone is welcome to our events, so it's queer students and their straight allied friends. Queer students often face bullying, harassment and generally more challenges than straight students. For example, queer youth are up to seven times more likely to attempt suicide than their heterosexual peers. There are a lot of campaigns that we run through the Queer Action Collective which are aim to create a more inclusive, safer space for queer people on campus. Only some of us are ever able to be, you know, proud of our queerness. Um, you know, there are obvious problems in the queer community. You know, we're much more likely to face problems of homelessness, of depression, anxiety um, around our queerness. So, you know, to kind of reclaim it and celebrate our queerness is really important. Looking after queer students for over 20 years, the Sydney Uni Queer Space is a cosy corner set aside for queer and questioning people to chill, make a coffee and hang out in a relaxed environment any time of the day. David, what does the SRC do for queer students here at Sydney Uni? A couple of really great campaigns that we've been running this year um, is the campaign to get uh, gender neutral bathrooms in buildings around campus. Another thing the collective has been running this year has been a uh, campaign to allow people to use their preferred names on um, online spaces especially but all learning environments. Uh, this is really important to foster a safe space without being outed or um, other issues like that. If you're feeling a bit political and want to make uni a better place for queer students then the Queer Action Collective is for you. Because of a fascist refugee policy 
uh, queer refugees who are fleeing persecution from other countries are either put back into the hands of their perpetrators or they're put in indefinite detention on an island or they are resettled in a country which refuses to decriminalize homosexuality and being gay can land you in prison for up to 18 years. I mean, these are the kinds of issues that uh, really resonate with the Queer Action Collective and um, we're very conscious of everything that does affect the queer community uh, at university and beyond. After finding out just how much support there is for queer students here on campus, I'm feeling so much more confident about my transition from high school to uni. I'm Lawson Tanner for Inside Out TV.